But you know Seth Godin, the marketing guy, daily blog, he's got a secret section on his website for recipes, and I found his recipe for the king of dal, dal makani. And what sold me on his king of dal was $9, 15 servings, complete protein. You can eat it for a week, you can freeze it, it reheats well, and you can make it in 30 minutes in an instant pot. It's basically lentil stew. Part of it is making a garam masala, which is sort of the spice blend. By the way, we I've had this on our, our backlog of things to make for like two years now. The problem all this time was I was intimidated by going to an Indian grocery store to find some of these ingredients. Our kids loved it, even even uh, our, our youngest one, who pretty much is a little bit picky. But when we, when we put doll in front of him, uh, he went to town. This is so good, Judy. <laughs> and then we'll talk about like the enhancements it? that you can do to make it better. Dude, it's doll. So today we're gonna show you the absolute easiest method of doll macaroni, the king of doll from Seth Godin. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna take two cups of mizur lentils. So that's red lentils. So we're gonna rinse them and soak them for two to six hours. And then we're gonna make our own garam masala. A tablespoon of black mustard seeds, a tablespoon of coriander seeds, a tablespoon of cumin seeds, one teaspoon of black peppercorns, three pods of black cardamom, and his recipe calls for an inch of soft Mexican cinnamon. We couldn't find that, so we're just using about an inch of regular old cinnamon. A pinch of turmeric, I think that's just for color. And then he says two or three or six dried chili peppers. And then we're going to quote, obliterate them in the blender. We're using the uh, eight ounce personal cup. You could really use any blender of any type here until you get kind of a fine powder. Smell it, it smells amazing. Smells like an Indian restaurant. Then, Yum. we're gonna do another blend, and this is garlic and ginger and water. So we're gonna use three cloves of garlic, about a two inch hunk of ginger, and then about a cup of water, and blend those all up together. So this is just like garlic, ginger, water. It's kind of a funny step. So grab your Instant Pot. If you don't have one, as Seth Godin says, it'll pay for itself in a week. We have the medium sized one. We'll put a link to it down below. Again, highly recommend make the field trip to an Indian grocery store to buy all these seeds. If you really don't want to, we'll put links to all of these seeds that you can just have delivered to your house. It's gonna be a lot more expensive, but take out your Instant Pot and press the saute button. And we're gonna take two tablespoons of butter. We're using Earth Balance. Uh, we, we have Miyoko's brand in the fridge, it would've been great too. And if you don't have that cocoa, coconut butter, you can use traditional butter as well. And then we'll add the garam masala to the melted butter. It's gonna sizzle and mix it around for about a minute. Then we're gonna add the ginger garlic water mixture. Mix that around too. Oh, that's okay, it's just steam honey. Then take a 28 ounce can of cheap tomato puree. Pour the whole thing in and then fill that can up with water. Put that in. Now add the drained lentils. Mix everything around. Turn off the saute from the Instapot and then flip it to beans. And you can actually change the timer down from 30 minutes to 21 minutes. Lock the Instapot and then it, it should just get started. I think when it says on, that means it's preheating. You're done. Yep, that's what it's supposed to do. Once the timer shows up, it will start counting down once it's fully preheated and pressurized. When the timer goes off, serve it hot over rice and add some cilantro. We also made some vegan naan with uh, uh, Nora Cook's recipe. It took like five minutes. So this recipe was easy and it was good, but it could be better. I'm not sure why this recipe didn't call for onions. Next time, right after we add the garam masala to the butter, we would add a whole red diced onion. We'd probably add more garlic too instead of three cloves, maybe like five or six. This dish is traditionally a little bit creamy, so might consider adding a little bit of coconut milk, maybe like a, a fourth of a cup or half a cup. Could also make your own cashew cream. 
So half a cup of soaked cashews, half a cup of water, a squeeze of lemon juice, and a teaspoon of salt blended. And of course, you can always add salt and pepper. Probably would have added a couple teaspoons of salt and a few shakes of pepper to the gram masala mixture. It'll last in your fridge for about five days. You can freeze it. We're using these super cubes. They're silicone soup trays. Super awesome. We'll put a link to those too. Guys, I'm so glad we finally made this. I think this is going to become a staple in our home, making it once a week. I said in the last video we made that this was the thing I wanted to learn how to do, and this is just one sort of step in learning how to use the Instant Pot, learning how to make dal. There's a million types of dal you can make. I think we can make this one better, like I said, with onions and more garlic and maybe a little more cream. But I'm excited and I'm feeling good that we did this. I really am. Hopefully more Instant Pot Vitamix recipes coming at you. So subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And if you appreciate videos like this, hit that thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. What do you think, guys? I'm liking Aiden. What do you think of the doll? Fun. It's good, right? So flavorful. Judy loves it. I love it. I love it too. I love that you love it.